Welcome one and all to the Darkblade Safari, where we take a look at the creatures that roam the lands of Monster Hunter World. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at our first piscine wyvern, Giratodus, who is sometimes referred to as the Loch Ness Monster of Monster Hunter World, or simply the Mudfish. Giratodus is normally found hanging out in the swampy areas of the Wild Spire Waste. Here, Giratodus is quite happy to patrol its watery territory without much hassle. It tends to leave smaller monsters alone and even ignore the larger ones. It will, however, occasionally venture to the swamp's edge to invite the local Apsiros over for dinner. The only time that Giratodus gets triggered is when hunters get too close, breaching its personal safety bubble, to which Giratodus will give a warning insult before attacking, but Giratodus goes straight for the throat when its arch nemesis and lifelong enemy, Barof, shows up. Giratodus could be seen as a bipedal coelacanth fish, or simply walking fish. It has a total of seven fins, two dorsal, two pectoral, two pelvic, and one massive thick tail fin. Swimming around in the muddy waters, Giratodus will at times cover itself in mud. This can be used as a defense mechanism, a way of keeping itself cool in the hot temperatures of the wild spire waste, and a therapeutic beauty treatment. Giratodus does hold a massive grudge against Barof. Maybe Barof stole Giratodus' girlfriend, but either way, Giratodus will attack Barof on sight, breaching from the waters below Barof and trying to constrict it. Barof will eventually throw Giratodus off, resulting in both of them having black eyes. When it comes to a scrap, Giratodus won't back down from a fight. It won't often start fights, but it loses its rag when hunters get too close or when Barof shows up to the party. While half in the water, Giratodus will try to assault whatever threatens it in more deadly ways. Powered by its massive tail fin, it will try to charge foes with its jaws wide open. It will try a double tail swipe if surrounded by foes, spinning around twice to hit those in front and behind it. When it's a little bit exhausted, it will try a standard bite attack. However, things will get more difficult for hunters when Giratodus starts to use its home turf to its advantage. It will often spit watery mud balls at its foes, which can then result in muddy puddles forming where they land. If hunters are caught in them, they will be unable to attack, run, and have to slowly walk out of them. Giratodus at times can also completely submerge itself in the water. This will then be followed up by the Jaws theme song playing, and Giratodus trying to attack from below. This will eventually end in a massive breach attack that can deal a nasty amount of damage. Whilst out of the water, Giratodus will still try its best to bite and attack foes, often making use of its body weight to ram hunters. However, whilst out of the water, its attacks are more anemic. When it comes to defense, Giratodus has a few options available to it. Whilst in the water, at times it will start writhing around, covering its body in the poor cleansing mud. This will result in a change in the weaknesses against Giratodus, as well as increasing the potency of Giratodus's water gun attack. Hunters have to be aware that Giratodus loves to fight in the muddy waters of the Wild Spire Waste. Being in the water will naturally slow hunters' movement speed. Also, should you receive too many attacks from Giratodus' water gun attack, hunters may become water blighted, which causes issues to your stamina. When it comes to weaknesses, Giratodus is most vulnerable when you try to poke it in the eyes or pull on its tail fin. These weak points are rated 3 stars to most weapons by the tail fin, which is rated 3 stars for blunt and severing weapons, but 2 star for ammo damaged attacks. Both the head and tail fin are breakable, as well as its pectoral fins and back. Breaking body parts can help hunters get specific loot. When it comes to elemental damage, it depends on what mood Giratodus is in to what is most effective. Normally, Giratodus comes with a 3 star rating to thunder damage, with a 1 star rating for fire, ice, and dragon. Water has no effect with a big fat X rating. However, if you catch Giratodus getting out of the bath, the muddy waters will change the elemental damage ratings. It will now have a 3 star weakness to water, 1 star to ice and dragon, whilst thunder and fire will now have a big X rating. As for ailments, Giratodus is weakest to stun effects with a 3 star rating, showing that the monster is prone to migraines. So if you get the opportunity, make sure to hit it on the head to knock it out, which will cause it to flop out of the water, becoming emerged and incapacitated. Next are Poison and Paralysis, which is a 2 star rating, and finally Sleep and Blast, which is only rated with a 1 star. When it comes to loot, the rarest seems to be the Giratodus Fins and Wyvern Gem. Fins can be achieved by trying to break the fin body parts of Giratodus, but the gem, well, once again, it's in the hands of RN Jesus. When Giratodus rolls around in the mud, giving itself its slimy armor, hunters can interrupt this and prevent the face mask from being applied by smacking it with slinger ammo. Failing that, if you have enough time, just run up to Giratodus and wail on it with your weapon, as there is still a chance of interrupting the creature's beauty therapy. 
If Giratodus is covered in mud though, hunters can make use of puddle pods found from water moss to clear the mud off the monster's body. If hunters are having trouble playing with Giratodus in the swimming pool, then they can make use of the waterproof mantle to help them move through the waters unhindered, or failing that, sometimes Giratodus will leave hardened mud as it moves around. These form little islands that hunters can run across and not have their movement restricted. When it comes to gold crowns, the small crowns seem to be found at around the 1327 mark, and the large are around 1885. Giratodus is a creature that can creep some hunters out. The way it moves, its watery slimy body, its fish and shark like features do not make it a monster who will be winning any beauty contests anytime soon. Maybe this is why he uses mud so much to help clear up his paws so he can finally win the big monster beauty pageant. Regardless of its vanity issues, Giratodus can prove tough at times, but this is normally due to the environment it fights in. Using items such as the water mantle or armor with the aquatic expert skill on it can give hunters the inflatable armbands they need to play with Giratodus in the wild spire waste swimming pool. Anyway, I hope you found this video informative or entertaining, and until next time, I've been your guide Dartplay, bringing you a safari guide to Giratodus in Monster Hunter World. Hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, subscribe and like for more.